Good evening. I want to thank you for joining together in this longest night service. These services are also sometimes called a blue Christmas service, but many churches, uh, we do these as an opportunity on the longest night of the year to, in the midst of all the celebrations and all the joy, to also acknowledge that, that for many of us, the holidays, while joyful in certain ways, can maybe be full of pain. It may be the first uh, year after someone you've lost. It may be in the midst of a different tragedy in your life, and, and this is a safe space to, to express that, to acknowledge that, and to put it before God, and to recognize that God is in the midst of it. And so I am glad you're here, and glad to join with you in this service. So let's begin. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by God, and without God nothing came to be. What came to be through God was life, and this life was the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This word from the book of Psalms. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, 
and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, that I know them well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet, as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end, and I am still with you. Oh, that you would kill the wicked, O God, and that the bloodthirsty would depart from me, those who speak of you maliciously, and lift themselves up against you for evil. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord, and do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. As our service continues, we take this moment to spend time in a litany of remembrance for those on our heart this night, uh, for those things that uh, we are bringing into this space. We light this first candle to remember those whom we have loved and lost. We pause to remember clearly their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation when all creation waits for the light. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love hold them and keep them as well as us. I invite you now to a time of silent reflection. We light the second candle to remember the pain of loss, loss of relationships, loss of trust, loss of health, loss of jobs, loss of faith, the loss of joy. We acknowledge and embrace the pain of the past, O oh God, and we offer it to you, asking that into our wounded hearts and open hands you will place the gift of peace, shalom. We remember that through you all things are possible. Refresh, restore, and renew us, O oh God, and lead us into your future. I invite you to join me in a time of silent reflection as we have lit the second candle. We light this third candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember the past weeks, months, and for some of us years that have been heavy with our burdens. We accept and lay before you, O oh God, the sharpness of memory, the sadness and grief, the hurt and fear, the anger and pain. We accept and lay before you the ways we feel we have fallen short and the times we have spent blaming ourselves and you for all that we have suffered. We accept and lay before you the time we have walked alone in darkness and in knowledge of our own mortality. We remember that through, though we have journeyed far and that while lost we have, may have turned away from the light, the light itself has not failed. We remember that though winter be upon us and though the night be dark, with the turning of the wheel the dawn will come and dawn defeats the darkness. I invite you to join me in a time of silent prayer, silent prayer and reflection. We 
we light this fourth candle. To remember faith, the gift of light and hope that God offers to us in the stories of Hanukkah and of Christmas, which both also began in abandonment, insecurity, and humbleness in a time of war and in a poor stable. We remember that the loving God who kept the light shining in the temple and who came to share this life with us promises us comfort and peace. We remember the one who shares our burdens, who shows us the way to the light, and who journeys with us into all our tomorrows. I invite you to join me in one last period of silent prayer and reflection. you to pray with me. Let us pray. God of wisdom, we come to you this Christmas season tired, in turmoil and in pain. As the nights have grown longer, so has the darkness grown and wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of longest night, we ask for your healing blessings upon all that we carry in our hearts, sorrow we fear we may never end, wounds that we cannot even put into words. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, there are those among us who are grieving over what might have been. Death or loss or terrible hurt has changed our experience of Christmas. We remember that once it was a special day for us too, but someone or something precious has gone away from us in this life. We have lost a beloved, a job, a goal, a cause, a dream. We find ourselves adrift and alone. We are weary from the journey and we have found no room in the inn. We come to you seeking rest and peace and shelter from the storm. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Lord of, Lord of grace. In the spirit of the season, grant us all that we need to comfort us as we journey through this Christmas season. We ask that you shelter and sustain all those of us, both here and throughout the world, who wander or who want or weep or are heavy laden. That we may be lifted up in courage and journey on in thy peace. Lord, hear our prayer. And God of love, in this Christmas season, we embrace and offer up to you all that used to be, which is now lost to us and cannot be again. With celebration all around us, memories of what was and fears of what may be weigh heavy on our hearts. Please hold us close in your embrace. Be near to this night until the light returns and morning comes. Lord, hear our prayer. As we finish our service, the season is a safe place for us to share our hopes and our fears. That's part of what Jesus came for. So I invite you to offer it up to him, to recognize that the light shines in the darkness and that God is still in our midst. Love incarnate, love divine Star and angels gave this sign Bow to babe on bended knee The Savior of humanity Unto us a child is born he will reign forevermore no
hear this final word of blessing. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. Go in peace.